sporting another marvelous score and exquisitely animated, the film's plot is thin and the stakes non-existent, with a story the stunted shadow of its brilliant predecessors. The score, the animation, no complaints whatsoever. But everything else, they were just completely lazy. This film is a strong example of not knowing when to call it quits. The movie isn't a total waste of time or animation, but it never gives these beloved characters very much to do. The ending's far more mature than kids' movies are typically allowed to be, but so much is left out beforehand that it can't help but feel like somewhat of an unnecessary sacrifice. The movie is mirthless and sleep-inducing. Despite the strong animation, there's a sense that the story has run out of steam. The film feels like it's flying on empty. This is clearly the end of the franchise, one that gave great pleasure and stayed on too long. It is hard to watch a great movie concept sputter. Stall and then drop from the sky faster and harder than one of the animated dragons in free fall. The gorgeous and once glorious fantasy series comes to a flat conclusion, one in which the stakes feel way lower than they should. A cursory farewell to a franchise that deserved better. Those who do recognize the thinness of the script may not find the vivid animation is enough to overcome it. The plot is thin and holy, and the characters are mostly just a single gag set on repeat. How to Train Your Dragon movies are respected, the first two garnered nominations for Best Animated Feature, but this third chapter doesn't garner more than a polite appreciation. The movie offers some emotional heft in the end, but my overall sense is that we've stayed too long in this world. All the fire and lifeblood of this idea has been sucked out and we are left with something bland. Yeah. 